up everyone, Magpie Gaming here, I hope you're all doing well. So today we've had these images released from Battlestate Games and they are of the Noob Tube which is shown in the pictures fixed to the M4 platform and the AK platform respectively. These images will both please and dismay some players out there in equal measure I think because of them being added into the game. Some people still very much on the fence as to whether they should be in the game but I think they'll be pretty balanced anyway. You've got to remember that we've got the overall Noob Tube in the game the grenade launcher and i've got to say in countless countless raids i don't think i've ever been killed by it or witnessed it in in a raid i think it's just ultra rare i think the ammunition is pretty rare for it as well and i expect that it will be the same for these new tube attachments as well although i think they will be a bit more readily available than the overall uh, grenade launcher but yeah it looks as though they are coming to the game with the next patch i would uh guess could be that they might not make it into the patch but i don't think they'd tease them if they wasn't coming in the next patch next up we had this image of the org this has been a gun that a lot of people have been waiting to be added into the game been in the works for a long time again teased at this moment in time it looks like it will be in with the next patch so i'm interested to use that gun when it's added i do like to use it in other games it's a pretty versatile weapon so i'm hoping it's going to be the same in escape from tarkov and i look forward to seeing that one included into the game then we had a few little teasers in the last chronicle of Rizzi video. Now if you don't know what the Chronicles of Rizzi are, it's a small series that Battlestate have put together. This is to document Rizzi the Scav who has been enshrined in um, Escape from Tarkov law this year, especially with a lot of the events that have gone on. They have centred around his story within the game. So there are five episodes all together. I highly recommend going to watch them. They're only a couple of minutes long each, but they do have the usual high production standards that Battlestate like to put on their um, little trailers that they put out. If you remember the Raid series, the production value on that was amazing and it's no different on this series but the last episode gives us a couple of uh, little teasers to go with so first we see a couple of scavs loading up at a van with a riot shield now the riot shield has been rumored to be coming to the game for a long time so it looks like that's very much in development and we could get that in the next patch then we get a look at Zorochi now he is the new um, lighthouse boss he is affectionately known as Antlerman but he is seen in the trailer now he has very funny eyes in the trailer gives me um sort of throwbacks to raiden from mortal Kombat with his eyes but his eyes in the actual sort of poster for him that were put out aren't like that at all so i'm wondering what's going on there i'm wondering if there could be some sort of storyline added into the game as to why his eyesight ends up like that or maybe they just decided to show him like that in the trailer for a bit of uh, fun and then right at the end of the trailer the uh scav is dragged out and told welcome to the arena now arena was something that was supposed to start close testing in the autumn we don't know if that ever happened because those that will have been picked to play it will have had to have described you know signed an nda but i've heard no murmurings about the arena at all so i don't think it ever went into private testing just yet but it looks like it could be ready to go into private testing very soon so i'm hoping to get more details about that with uh sometime around the next patch i'm hoping that they do a talking tarkov podcast and we get some more information direct from nikita himself but that's pretty much it for the latest news up to now folks obviously everybody wants to know when the wipe is going to be I would hazard a guess and say that it's going to be sometime next week, if not maybe the week after, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say it will be sometime next week. A lot of people thought that it might have been yesterday, which was the 13th, since it was patch 13, and obviously last year it wiped on the 12th, which was patch 12, but it didn't happen yesterday. So I'm guessing it's going to be sometime next week. I think we might get an event kickoff this weekend, maybe a couple of other pre-wipe events, and then it'll wipe some point next week, but we'll see. Like I say in every video about Battlestate games, you can never second and guess these guys they will just do it when they are ready and that is it folks as always thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and i will catch you in the next one take care